video is sponsored by Decenio. More on them later. DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today's DIY in progress is going to be such a great project because it is for someone very special on this channel, our wonderful editor, Dan. For anyone who doesn't know, no, I do not edit my own videos. It is edited by a very talented editor named Dan. He is the reason why we all laugh. He is the reason why we all laugh at me. And he's the reason why this channel is as good as it is. Me? When I learned what kind of desk Dan was editing from, I got a little sad, I'm not gonna lie, and I really wanted to do better for him. So we are going to be creating a custom DIY desk for Dan so that he can edit in style, even if he has to look at my face from Monday to Friday. <laughs> But before we get into it, if you are new here, welcome, subscribe, join this wonderful Creative Beast family. We do a lot of fun DIY home projects here and sometimes it gets a little weird, but we like weird. So without further ado, let's get into this episode. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. Jane, sit on your lap while you're editing for me. Sometimes. No, it's me, I'm Dan, I'm editing. Beep, 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 beep. Hey friends, before we get started on my cool custom desk build, I wanted to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Decenio. Picking art for your home isn't always the easiest thing. First off, we want to love the art we hang on our wall and have it express a piece of ourselves within it. But we also want to show it off. We want our friends to come over and say, what a beautiful piece of artwork you have. But beautiful custom art isn't always the easiest to find. It can be expensive and it can take years to curate. We just want our homes to look beautiful like right now. So I say make it easy and find a beautiful curated art online at Decenio. You all know I am a huge fan of Decenio art and have many pieces hung up in my own home. I love that they offer trendy, high quality prints and frames with its collection constantly updating. Their motto is that stylish wall art should be affordable to everyone and my wallet thanks you for that. They offer such a wide variety of poster and print options from abstract, text, botanical, travel, black and white, kids. I know their website will have something for everyone and you can even pick the frames for each art piece right from their website, including mats. So it's really just a one-stop shop for all of your artwork needs in your home. You place your order online and it shows up at your doorstep. Now, I'm excited to collaborate with them because they've given me a 10% discount code all of you can use for their prints on top of their big Memorial Day weekend sale right now and it's valid until midnight on May 30th. So go get shopping DIY friends and then later in the episode I'm going to be gifting my wonderful editor Dan and his partner Emily custom Decenio art for their home so stay tuned on that front but in the meantime let's get going on Dan's custom desk DIY. Woohoo! Okay, so let's talk about Dan's desk DIY. <laughs> so right now, Dan lives in a basement apartment with his girlfriend and their dog, Jaina, who is so adorable. Essentially, he has this kind of old rickety desk that he's been using forever. It's broken, it's not very structurally sound, and it has kind of some compartments on the side that is actually broken. He loves these compartments. He likes having storage in the desk, however, uh, it it's just, it's broken. But what's that then? I've heard worse. He likes the wood top, he likes the black, and there's also a pole that's running beside his desk. So we need to think about the space between the pole and that little bulk piece so that the desk still fits within that space. Other things that I need to factor in is the fact that he uses his keyboard underneath the desk. This is something that he likes, it's something that he expressed he wanted to keep, and we also need a storage element. I mean, all things considered, Dan said that this space really works for him. Realistically, no matter what we do, anything is going to be a step up from what he currently has. I like the idea of this black. I like the idea of the wood top. So that's kind of an 
idea I want to keep, but I just want to like jazz this desk up. This desk is out in the open. It is part of their living room. So I really want to make this desk look really unique to Dan, but also something that's going to match within their decor and something that he can grow with no matter where they end up being. I'm also excited because I would like to add a little bit of like an industrial element to this, give it a kind of masculine vibe. So we're going to be welding and I have welded once on this channel and that was with Sam the DIY Huntress. In that time I became obsessed, bought a welder, have been practicing, but this will be the first project that I'm doing alone. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. I just want to give him a better functioning desk that he's going to love sitting at and that he can kind of grow with and take with him for life. Hopefully. You're going to keep this forever, Dan. Forever. So I kind of had this idea to go a little funky with this desk because I think I have a little creative liberty here. Dan's a very funky, creative guy. I mean, I know that I can go a little bit outside the box with this. I decided to do some epoxy. I thought it'd be fun to kind of add this really unique element on the inside and kind of go with this lightning bolt shape. It's kind of creative. We're gonna stay within that black realm because I like that it feels a little masculine. And then we're gonna weld the legs on the one side, but but then he really wanted that storage element. So I'm going to add a filing cabinet on the right side and then build in a little kind of support piece that's going to sit on top of the filing cabinet that will support the desk on the right side. And then underneath the desk, because he wants that pullout keyboard, I was able to find him an ergonomic adjustable keyboard that can pull out and customly moved around for his doings. <laughs> Another thing that I really love adding into desks are charging ports because I don't care what anyone says when they say they don't need things like this. Everyone needs some kind of functional plug for charging their phones, you know, just odds and ends. I was able to find this really unique charging port that actually sits into the desk. So it has a phone charger on top and then you can slide this out and it has two plugs here and two USB ports. I just thought this was so cool. Everything I find for this episode will be linked in the description box below, so don't worry. So that's my general idea. I like to keep these things kind of loose because so many things can change as you start to DIY, but overall, this is what I'm hoping to accomplish. I got all my materials, so all we gotta do is just get going on this. So wish me luck, friends, because we are going into the world of epoxy. Cross fingers. Let's get DIYing. Okay, so I've changed clothes. I'm in more DIY appropriate things. So let's get in here. <laughs> so this is the Live Edge Acacia board that I'm going to be using for the desk. I have two of them. These are normally used for shelving and for benches, but I figured it's the right size and it's perfect for what I need to do because I'm actually gonna do a live edge on the edge of the desk and I want this straight edge on the inside because I'm going to be cutting into it to do like the cool jagged edge. But above that, we have this giant melamine board that we need to cut down because uh, it's going to act as kind of like the little tub that this desk is going to sit in when we do the epoxy pour. So let's get going. I got all my cuts done. I'm happy with that. I think what we're gonna do next is go inside. We're going to Tyvek tape all of the pieces that I cut, and then we will build the frame that it's going to sit in, and then we will add the wood pieces in, and we'll map out our entire shape, our lightning bolt shape, and see how it goes. So let's go inside. <laughs> Showing everybody who is your dragon?
Okay, friends, I just finished all the silicone application and honestly, I'm feeling really good about this. I think this looks really rad. I'm so excited for tomorrow. I am going to cut three kind of like two by four pieces and I'm going to put it across and then clamp those down to make sure this is really nice and tight. I probably went overboard on the silicone, but I'm kind of a noob in this like epoxy world. So I kind of went overkill, but that's to just make sure that it doesn't spill through or I lose epoxy it is expensive so I don't want it to spill I think we got a lot done today and I'm excited about this I'm excited Dan you better love this I hope you love this because at this point Dan would already have the desk and be using it while he's editing this video he's using the desk to edit the desk that I'm currently making now Anyways, I am going to clean everything up, prep for tomorrow, and I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to pour some epoxy, so I'll see you tomorrow. DIY friends, it's officially resin day, and I'm ready. <laughs> so let me show you what's going on. I've moved the table out of the way, and I have this set up on some sawhorses. I have clamped three two by fours down to really make sure that this is like clamped. It's shouted. We're gonna be using the West System epoxy. And the best part about this stuff is that it's literally a one-to-one -one system. One pump of resin, this stuff, to one pump of the hardener, this stuff, and that's it. But we are going to be pouring in one gallon increments. And I have our black pigment dye, got our mask, got some gloves. So I'm gonna start mixing this up and we're gonna get going. Wish me luck because I am feeling a little nervous if I have to be honest. It's gonna be fine, right? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay, so a few good things is that there is no epoxy running right now, so it means that the casing is working. <laughs> So this is just layer one of many. We're probably going to have to do this about six times, perhaps. But in the meantime, we're going to let this dry up and we'll go out to the she shack and we'll start prepping our metal legs for welding. Looks good though, right? I'm so excited! <laughs> pieces cut now all we need to do is go inside let's do another epoxy pour and then we'll come outside and then we'll start welding those pieces together love it love it Okay, my friends, we are officially moving on to the welding. I am so excited. Before I can get on to welding, I need to clean up this edge. So I have my grinder and I have a flapper disc on here. It's an abrasive surface that's gonna clean this all up. So I gotta clamp this down, we'll clean this up, and then officially we'll be able to get to the welding. We only have one question moving forward, dinosaur or zombies. <laughs> Put your suggestions in the comment section below. I hear you guys saying zombie. Did you guys say zombie? Because I think it's a zombie kind of day. Sorry, Mr. Dinosaur. Maybe he's an alligator? Right. It's officially go time. attractive weld no but is my grinder gonna fix all of this oh yes a grinder and paint makes you the welder you ain't i am not going to be doing that today i think that is something to tackle tomorrow this looks super funny right now but i think it's gonna be great when it's done this is just gonna be between the 
cabinet and the desk. All things said though, I'm feeling really empowered. I feel really good. The machine didn't break and nothing blew up. So that's a pro <laughs> in my books. It is getting late. I think what I'm gonna do is do one more pour on the table tonight and then I will report back with where the table's at tomorrow morning. So with that said, I will see you all tomorrow. friends. It has already been a very productive day. I got up this morning. I did a table pour. I also got some work done at my computer, but I'm very excited because the table actually is all ready to do a another pour. I'm hoping it this might be close to one of the last pours. I think we have two left, which means that like this day is going to be perfect and it's the right amount of time to finish this off. And then once we are done this pour, we can get out to the she shack and start grinding down the table legs and and that little insert piece. So I'm very excited. This is gonna be a good, productive DIY day. Can you feel it, everybody? DIY productivity in your bones. <laughs> what? With that said, let's get epoxying, let's get pouring, and let's pour our heart into this DIY project today. <laughs> You guys, watching epoxy pours is one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen. Also, it is the most beautiful day today. I'm in a sweater, it's sunny outside. I can be outside and I can feel my DIY energy just flowing through my body. It's gonna be a good day, I just know it. That truly was a grind. <laughs> Hours have gone by to the point where I had to stop filming. However, we got we got a thing. <laughs> we have a thing and we have legs. But what I need to do is I need to clean this up with some acetone and then we are going to do a light sand and then prime this bad boy. And then we're gonna put our very last coat of epoxy on that table. It just needs a wee bit more and then we will be done. And I'm thrilled, honestly, it looks so good. The vision is there and I'm so excited about it. Let's get this all cleaned up. Let's get going and let's move this DIY forward. Okay. friends it is the final and last day hopefully i told dan i would be bringing this desk to him tomorrow which means we have so much to do today it is unreal <laughs> So we need to get going. I need to take this out of this casing and we need to clean this up, plane it, make it look like a tabletop, finish the tabletop with a nice coat. Oh, we have so much to do. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. Let's get going. Let's take this casing off and let's see what this desk looks like. Let's do this. Whoa, that looks so cool. 
Okay, so I have the table set up outside. I have my hand planer here. We are going to start planing this tabletop down, trying to level off all of the epoxy. I'm gonna go small layers at a time and hopefully see a beautiful flat top at the end of this. So wish me luck, let's do this. <laughs> back in the studio and I have mixed up some Rubio Monocoat and what this is gonna do is just make this wood shine. This is a three to one mix and uh, it just smells so good. Oh, I love using Rubio. Rubio! Oh, At this point, all I gotta do is pack everything up and we just gotta get it over to Dan's to finally reveal what this desk looks like. Because I don't know about you, but I am ready to see this project come to an end. And I am ready to see Dan finally work from a desk worth editing from. <laughs> Okay, friends, I just made it to Dan's place and there's Dan right there. Wave, Dan. <laughs> Let's unpack. Let's get this desk in. Woohoo! Hi, Gina. Come here. Hi. Hi, little sweetheart. Hey, y'all. Aren't you the sweetest? You look like a little Ewok. And you sound like one, too. We have Dan here, the man behind the edits. It's really good that I look at your face full time on a computer and now you're here in real life too. And Jaina, of course. <laughs> oh, don't, don't talk with your mouth full. Okay, so I am in the space and before I actually start installing the desk, I'm so excited because I brought some artwork with me from our wonderful friends at Decenio. I have three pieces and they're special because Dan's actually traveled to all three of these places with his girlfriend, Emily. So it kind of has like a special feeling to it. So we're gonna put these up on the wall and then I'm gonna kick them out then I can finally put in the desk because like this desk needs some help. Can I just show you how bad this is? Like this pulls out and it's, that's the drawer. Here you go. <laughs> There's your desk. You sure you don't want this for the new one? Yep. It's got really good hardware on it, you know, solid. Bye. So let's get this artwork up and then we're gonna get this desk in. I'm ready. Oh, and check this out. She's like, I am living my best life. That's Emily. One day when you guys go back to Barcelona, because you just made so much money editing. <laughs> this renter friendly so if you don't like where this goes I say you but I mean Emily if Emily doesn't like where this goes she can change it what would imply to you that I'm not incredibly strict about my decor <laughs> talking about your two Austin Matthews <laughs> they are slightly different I think these look great I'm so happy you chose these. Also, I love how these colors have now livened up this little corner. I am here for it, I am living for it, but now we have to get this desk out. Good luck. <laughs> You didn't want this anymore, right? Honestly, I didn't even try, it just crumbled. Like. I didn't even try it yet, it just crumbled. <laughs> Okay, so I have Josh here now. He showed up. If you are a part of my Patreon, then you will know Josh. Now that Dan's finally gone, we need to unwrap the table, get the legs on, get the drawers. The drawers. We got a lot to do. Lots to do. Let's go. 
Uh, yes! Oh no, I didn't put my indoor shoes on. Now you all know I'm wearing Charmander socks. Don't comment on my Charmander socks. <laughs> This is the first time you're seeing this. Look, he's got new drawers for all of his things. Now, I ordered this drawer online. I didn't make it myself because I kind of had a lot to do if you didn't notice. So before you open your eyes, I just want you to remember how ugly, dysfunctional, broken, and how little you spent on it. Like it was like a $30 desk. At the time it was $99. I have replaced it. Are you ready to see your new de desk? I'm, I've been ready for, for weeks. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Swearing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. How did you get this into this? Well, you're about to find out in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> legs that are both there and there. I welded all by myself. You add a mic there, right? When I drop it. Oh, I caught it. Oh. <laughs> it's such an <laughs> unbelievable step up from what I had. I don't have the mind to envision something like this and it's just like so much cooler than I thought it would be. DIY Danny nailed it. <laughs> DIY friends, thank you so much for watching this desk build. What do you guys think? Are you happy with this? I think it looks dope. After seeing everything come together, like I just think it looks slick. I don't know about you, but this might be the coolest editing desk I've ever sat at. But of course, you guys should let me know what did you think of this desk. A big thank you to the sponsor of today's episode, Desenio. If you want to get 10% off prints, use the link in my description box right now. And of course, a big thank you to all of the patrons. You guys are amazing. If you're not a part of my Patreon, use the link in my description box to check it out. We have lots of fun over there. As always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye. Thank you.